Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sean Taylor with Silver Creek Realty Group. And I just pulled off the freeway about a minute or so ago. And I'm on Victory Road right now, pulling up to the uh, neighborhood that I wanna show you with the subject property on Kentucky Ridge, or in Kentucky Ridge, I should say, the property's on Rio Dosa. I love this neighborhood. It, it's so close to everything, yet it kind of has this remote feel to it. So uh, it's right off of Meridian Road and Victory. So again, close to the freeway, close to shopping, close to everything. And it has this very unique entry with the white picket fence, a little pond, and uh, can't wait to show it to you here right now. Pretty small development, a little over 100 homes, I think. There's the entry here, but isn't this awesome? Kind of a little windy, cool road here. Oftentimes when I come by this little pond over here, there will be a, a turtle sitting out on the rocks or up there on the side. But you've got this beautiful little pond down here. Nice place to do a little picnic with the family. Oh, there's somebody doing a picnic, picnic right there. Smile, you're on camera. And we're going to go to Rio Dosa here. There's a newer part of the development in the back and to my right. This is the older section right here, the mature section. And we are pulling up to the subject property right now, which is 739 Rio Dosa. And I can't wait to show you more about this. Okay, welcome to 739 West Rio Dosa. Again, Sean Taylor here. I'll walk you up here. Very proud home, built in 1997. Nice 0.23 acre lot. Love the curved walkway up to the front of the house. You've got your railroad ties with additional steps kind of coming up. Covered front porch and the beautiful brick accents. Like the white trim contemporary colors there's the park just a couple of houses down we have a nice big three-car garage additional 10 or 15 feet over here your gas meter recently painted it's have a nice paint job on the home I like the brick accents right here as well Low cost irrigation water here on the property. Sorry, the guy started a lawnmower across the street. Suddenly got very loud. Nice fencing over here, the wing fencing. Good spot to hang your pretty flowers. Very lush. Got the shutters out here. There's your newer wing fence. I like it when owners take care of the side of their home like this and extend the rock out to uh, protect your home from getting water in the crawl space. Beautiful siding and partial mountain view over there. And let's head inside and take a look. Okay, we're heading inside now. One of the things you'll first notice are the beautiful colors. Very neutral colors. All new flooring in here. Nine foot ceilings in this area of the home with the bright white trim. This is your formal living room. Your staircase going up. You also have this direction over here to your kitchen. And then you've got a coat closet over here. I love the beautiful light fixtures throughout this house. Show it better in photos, but kind of look like raindrops coming down here. Very cool. And we'll walk through here. This is a 1874 square foot house, three bedrooms, two and a half bath, with a three car garage, and again, just minutes to the freeway, shopping, hospitals, everything. Love the brick fireplace here and the wood uh, built-in shelves, vaulted ceiling in the family room here, lots of windows, 
couple kids in the backyard today. Playing on the trampoline. Huge family room. Room for any size TV on this wall. Any size furniture. As you can see, we've got the couch pushed back a couple feet from the wall here, but you could push that back and extend around the sides or out this way or whatever you want to do. Okay, so this is a looking at the eating space here. And notice if you wanted to, obviously you could extend this out, but you could also go this way and have plenty of room for, you know, big family gatherings. You could also make that a formal dining room instead of a formal living room if you wanted to. And here's our kitchen, big breakfast bar, timeless um, cabinetry, beautiful wood with the brown colors on there, full tile backsplash, again very neutral beautiful colors throughout the house. Stainless steel appliances, these are LG's, there's me, hello, and you've got the nice deep sink here, stainless steel as well, and the LG dishwasher. You've got knobs on all the drawers, which is convenient. And a nice big pantry as well. You've got additional storage space here. So last look at the kitchen. This house has a great flow to it. I love the fact that they have the, you know, laminate flooring throughout the main level. It's just, Wonderful, especially if you have kids, it's low maintenance, it looks beautiful. This is our laundry space. And you're probably wondering why is there a big hole in the ceiling? Well, that is a laundry chute. And no, you should not throw your kids through there. No pets, none of that stuff that most kids think about doing at some point. And then uh, additional plumbing setup right here as well. Or a sink if you want one. And then we've got the garage out here, the three car, and we'll take you upstairs. So we've got, let me show you another closet here. So we have the under the stairs closet, wraps all the way around. A lot of people will call that the Harry Potter closet. The bathroom again with a pedestal sink. Very contemporary, contemporary light fixtures throughout most of the home. Lots of recess can lighting in here. There's the, my favorite light fixture right there. Love that one. Okay, we're heading up the stairs. I love all the newer trim throughout most of the house as well, or the lower level at least. Okay, we get to the top of the stairs. We've got a bedroom, a bathroom, bedroom, and then you've got a fairly private master that is separated from the bedrooms, which is nice. So here's the master. That is a huge king size bed, vaulted ceilings up here. Room for end tables, room for a dresser over here. Room for your nightstands, room for another dresser over here if you chose. And a mounted TV right now. Walk-in closet with built-ins. And I like that this closet's wide enough. I'm a pretty big guy uh, to be able to walk in here actually. Some of them, they make them super narrow. And this one's not, I like that. From up in the mast, you've got some cool views. You can see all the way to the, the Boise mountain range, out towards Emmett. Very pretty. So you can look at the lights on Bogus from here at nighttime. And master bathroom with the tile floors. Nice big shower, plenty wide. His and her sinks. Again, some kind of newer cool light fixtures. The obscured glass window in here. A little extra, we've got some extra little kind of medicine cabinet, towel rack uh, cabinet, I mean, hanging there. Newer toilet.
Uh, notice that this room also had a ceiling fan, as do the other two bedrooms as well. Which way do we want to go? Let's go to the left. This is the southern bedroom. Very neutral paint colors in here. Two nice big windows. Notice a lot of the builders will just put one, one window in a bedroom. Nice big closet there with the bifolds. Nice and easy for people to open and close and access everything in their closet. The other bathroom, again, nice neutral colors. Built-in kind of medicine cabinet there. Another cabinet above the toilet area. And I like that they did the full tile on the uh, shower tub combo here all the way even through the ceiling that I especially love when they put a window in. Moisture is not a friend when it comes to real estate. So anytime you can have more windows and good fans, that's a good thing. An empty, huge storage closet here for a linen closet. And the last bedroom here, again, two nice windows in the corner. Same closet situation here. Plenty of room for a kid or two to live in, in this bedroom. And again, mountain views. Very nice. This is a great community. Kentucky Ridge is one of my favorites, as I kind of mentioned when uh, we were pulling up to the house. But just as far as location and privacy and charm, it's got all of the above. Before I take you outside, I wanted to point out in the garage that the walls are painted in here. This is a big old Ford Flex and it's got plenty of room here. Plenty of space left both in the front and in the back. Uh, room to hang bikes. And it's also got the uh, pull down storage area as well, which is pretty cool. So you pull that down and climb in above and you've got an additional uh, workspace back here with the uh, door. And Idaho would call that the man door. You got your water softer, softener, a newer water heater. And there's your expansion tank. These are all looking really good. And uh, your furnace here. Okay, so I just asked the owner and all of this is pretty much brand new in here. Top of the line, super high quality. There's your furnace, huge water heater. Looks like our capacity is a, it's, it's gonna be a 70, it's a 75 gallon capacity on there, which, you know, a big house is normally 50, but you're not gonna run out of hot water on this thing. And then you've got a water softener as well, which is also newer. Timer for your sprinklers. And over here, we also have, this one is about five years old, but this is a beast. This is a huge, um, heat pump for this house. This is your air conditioner and that's fantastic. A lot of times when homes are built, they put just kind of the bare minimum capacity for, for the AC and this one will definitely keep your house cool. Okay, so I'm on the side yard right now, closest off the front of the garage. Got all the pretty colors out here too, I love it. Got a little view of the roof up here. The side yard. This is the west side of the home. And you'll notice the covered patio out here. Very pretty. Lots of nice concrete work. Big mature trees. You hear the birds singing. right there or even lower right there got a fire pit area over there this is the south side of the home so in some houses especially brand new where there's no trees you might get too much sun over here but we're in the heat of the day it's about almost 80 degrees today 
and it feels nice and cool back here with all the shade as you can see and it's about I don't know two o'clock in the afternoon it's your fire pit area sit around and enjoy that at night with the family full fence room for your trampoline and again great paint job and I think that concludes your tour Thank you again. If you have any strong interest in, uh, or questions, feel free to call me or contact your realtor so they can get a hold of me. And uh, that's it. Thank you. Bye bye.